Today we're going to have a look at this uh, rather large shrub. And there's a few things we can notice about it. So when we walk up to it and look, the first thing we can notice is that the leaves come across from each other opposite on the stem. So it's an opposite branching leaf. If we look at the leaf veins themselves, you see they have this kind of really rounded curved shape to them. And that's very helpful for identifying this plant as well. We're lucky in that the flowers are out too. So you can see it's a collection of a bunch of smaller flowers in kind of a flat top shape, little white flowers. And if we take a leaf and fold it in half, it's gonna be tricky, <laughs> one-handed. Oh dear, can I even do it? And then if you fold it and then pull the leaf apart, I'm gonna try here. Oh. You can actually get these little fluffs. Do you see that one right there? That come out of where each of the leaf veins were. It's like a little hair or a little thread right there. So if you can fold the leaf in half and pull it, I know it was a little tricky for me one-handed there, but um, that's another trait of this type of plant. So all the different uh, dogwoods do that when you bend their leaves and break them. Uh, we actually have an old dead branch here we can look at too, so you can sort of see what the buds look like. They're a little shriveled, but you can see they're kind of longer and pointed. And the stem itself is kind of a reddish color, which it often is. Um, right now, in the, these ones are growing really vigorously, and we have this nice kind of lime green color with little uh, lenticels or little dots in the, in the bark. So, um, depending on the time of year and the vigor of the plant, it can be different colors. So sometimes it's red, uh, sometimes it's known as red twig dogwood. Um, yeah, sometimes this one can also be called red oyster dogwood, cornus stolonifera. Um, yeah, so this one is growing quite large, almost like a little tree. And uh, one of the amazing things about um, this type of dogwood is if you take sticks of it and jam them into the ground, like if I cut this off and, and stuck it into the ground before it had leafed out, it would grow into a new plant. So it's a great uh, shrub for restoring areas since it can grow from cuttings really easily. It's also a favorite of beavers. So right over here we have another um, dogwood not doing nearly as well. You can see there's a log here and the beaver is actually able to climb up push the cage over and clip the different dogwood pieces and eat them. So I'm okay with that. Obviously I like to share with the beavers, but um, we have to cage things on this riparian area. Otherwise everything would get eaten. We have quite a large beaver population here. So yeah, that's a little bit about the uh, red oyster dogwood.